my heartfelt greetings to reverend parents and respected dignitaries honorable director st teresa school shri raman raja khanna sir honorable director v k gulati sir honorable principal ms vibha khanna ma'am respected academic director ms renu shivastav ma'am our head mistress shivani tripathi ma'am and respected coordinators my wishes to the gathering of intellectuals invited judges teachers and my dear friends how different is this morning indeed very wonderful aim for the moon if not the mars aim for stars but avoid wars aim for frontiers without a fence aim for world peace and coexistence aim for a better world for man aim for achievements in life span abdul kalam he had a dream and labored hard within a team he gave the country missiles great and made bharat a nuclear state the vibes around tell a beautiful tale which is truly unforgettable i punyavi mohan shall be your host for the science exhibition creations 2020 let us initiate the event with the blessings of lord ganesha darkness and to illuminate our lives join us in the lamp lighting ceremony lankurutvam kalyanam aarogyam dhana sampada shubham kurutvam kalyanam aarogyam dhana sampada shatru buddhi vinashaya deepajyotir namo sute deepajyotir namo sute shubham kurutvam It is our holy tradition to worship our goddess Saraswati before any important event. So let's dedicate a prayer to Ma Saraswati.
for the event let us witness a motivational song by young tirisians Before moving further, let us get the insight of the three-day event, its motive, and importance of this day by Vaishnavi Singh. Learning gives curiosity. Curiosity leads to thinking. Thinking provides knowledge, and knowledge makes you great. A very warm welcome to everyone. At the very onset, I would like to ask a question: How can someone achieve greatness? It's not something achieved by accident. It's a quality, processed, honed, and learned over a lifetime of learning and hard work. And that is exactly how Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, 
whom we all love and adore, achieved greatness. He did not become great by luck, but with a curious mind, famished of gaining more knowledge and working hard upon it. Born on 15th October 1931, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam was one of the great scientists of the 21st century. Ever since his childhood, he always had an exceptional curious mind, curious to know more about the things, how they actually worked. He graduated from Madras Institute of Technology in Aerospace Engineering and later he remained associated with Defense Research and Development Organization for nearly 40 years. An ordinary man who came from a humble family of Rameshwaram in Tamil Nadu. He reached the highest national rank by being the 11th President of Indian Republic. He had always been a very sincere worker of his field and is a continuous inspiration to all generations of people. Science is a belief. Science is a mystery. Science is magic with a wide history. It's not merely just a subject, but a way of organizing our curiosity. Uniqueness of science is that there is nothing that is impossible. It's the only subject that has brought a revolutionary change in our lives since antiquity. Dr. Kalam's approach and scientific attitude towards analyzing, understanding, interpreting the working of things had always been exemplary and inspiring. Throughout his life, he always grabbed the opportunities he could to inspire and motivate young minds to cultivate a scientific temper as science answers almost all challenging problems and contributes to the technological progress of a nation as he believed. He called for inculcating the courage to think differently, the courage to invent, to travel the unexplored path, the courage to discover the impossible, to conquer the problems and thrive from young age that could open the way to a bright future. So, in order to honor such an awe-inspiring personality on his birthday, St. Teresa School hereby feels ecstatic to commence its science exhibition for the year 2020 to produce leaders for tomorrow who can lead the world into light with their innovative ideas and dedication. Today, in our very own science exhibition, we celebrate the idea of Kalam and his vision of India and as Dr. Kalam would put it, science is a beautiful gift to humanity. We should not distort it. In the words of APJ Abdul Kalam, all the fingers aren't of the same length, but when they bend, they all stand equal. All our young scientists are just like these fingers to the fists of our school. And the dedication and hard work they have put into this exhibition has proved our strength. So now, let us all together dive into this ocean of scientific world and explore this incredible beauty of innovations. Thank you. A very good morning to one and all present here. I have a great pleasure in welcoming our young budding scientists from the middle wing. The talents they display here are the proof that they have the potential to be useful citizens of future. So, without wasting much time, let us begin and watch the various one with science experiments awaiting for you. So, first we have Aditya Singh with us who is going to show us fun experiments. I welcome you Aditya. Welcome to my show, Try to Science. Today I will manifest one science trick with household items. So let's start. The name of this trick is Power of a Dia. What do you think? What will happen in this trick? Let's find out. So I have kept one Dia in the center of wet pile of tissues. So first light up the Dia. Thank you. 
Wait for 2-3 seconds and then cover the diya with glass. Press it vigorously. Now let's try to pull the glass. But I'm unable to do it. But how the glass is stick with the tray? I have not put any glue on the mouth of the glass. But then also, how can this thing happen? So, this happened because when heat absorbs water, it creates vacuum. Due to this vacuum, the glass clutches with the tray very tightly. So, we are unable to separate the glass from the tray. I hope you like this trick and thank you for joining with me in this session. Wow, what an interesting experiment it was. Thank you Aditya Singh for showing us these fun experiments. I have never seen invisible ink. So, to see it, now I would like to call Ishita Banyal to show her experiment. I welcome you Ishita. Good morning everyone. My name is Ishita Banyal of Class X. The name of my project is Love and Choose Invisible Ink. So, let's start. Here, I have ear bud. Now, I'm going to put in the lemon juice. I'm going to write something on the paper. Oh no! The letters are not visible to your eyes. But I will make them visible with the magic of science. Here, I have iron. Do you think I will iron the clothes? No, 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 no. Not at all. I will make the letters visible with the help of iron. The letters are visible and that's hard work. Lemon juice are carbon based compounds and soften the fiber in the paper. Lemon juice are mildly acidic and when the juice on the paper gets dry and heated, the letters on it turn black. Lemon juice are used for reading secret messages. Thank you and have a nice day. Fantastic! It was a marvelous experiment. Thank you Ishita Banyal for showing us this experiment. Now, please put your hands together for Prerit Aroda who is going to show us an experiment on Surprise Pop. Good morning everyone. I am Prerit Aroda of class 7A. I am doing my experiment with two balloons. This one is an air filled balloon and this one is a water filled balloon. First, I will bring the air filled balloon close to the flame of the candle. And it popped out. Now I will relight the candle. And this time I will bring the water filled balloon close to the flame of the candle. And as you can see, this balloon did not pop out. This was because when the air filled balloon gets close to the flame of the candle, the rubber becomes hot and thus weak and pops out. But when we fill a balloon with water instead of air, the balloon doesn't pop out because the water in the balloon controls the temperature and doesn't let it heat up. And thus the balloon doesn't pop out. Thank you. It was so fun to see your experiment, Prairie. Thank you. Dear audience, as we have just witnessed so much fun, through these experiments given by our talented students. So now, I would like to call Sujoy Saha to show an experiment on neutralization reaction. I welcome you Sujoy. Good morning everyone. I am Sujoy Saha from class 7E. Today, I am going to show you an experiment in which carbon dioxide will be formed with the help of a balloon. You can see I have a, a bottle filled with vinegar which is also called acetic acid CS3COOH and the balloon filled with baking soda which is also called sodium hydrogen carbonate NaSCO3. Now I will stretch the mouth of the balloon and keep it over the bottle. I have already done it. You can see just like this. Now I will straighten the mouth of the balloon 
so the so that the baking soda inside the balloon will fall on the vinegar and they will react to form a gas called carbon dioxide which will fill the balloon with air called carbon uh, which will fill the balloon with air this is a type of neutralization reaction in a neutralization reaction a uh, acid reacts with the uh, used as a vinegar reacts with the base used as a baking soda to form a salt called sodium acetate water and a gas called carbon dioxide thank you hope you like my experiment have a good day wow what a nice experiment it was thank you sujoy saha for showing us this experiment now i am very excited to see our next experiment which will be shown by darshad singh and the experiment is floating eggs i welcome you darshad good morning everyone my name is darshad and i am from class 60 and today i am going to show you the experiment of density so have you ever seen a egg floating let's see the magic so first i have two glasses with me both filled with normal water and then i have two eggs so first i take a egg and put it into the glass of water and as you can see here that the egg sinks and it's totally normal but then when i take the second egg and put it into another glass of water as you can see here the the egg floats instead of sinking do you know why this this happened let me explain this glass was filled with normal water that's why the egg sunk because egg is heavier than the normal water but this glass was actually filled with salty water so the egg floated because salt makes the water heavier than the egg and that was the experiment of density thank you oh wow the eggs are really floating thank you darshad singh for showing us this experiment Dear audience, I want to tell you that there is no relevance of anything without science. This means, if something is existing, science is also hidden within that. So, now I would like to call Pragya to show an experiment on fire on water. I welcome you, Pragya. Good morning, everyone. My name is Pragya Singh, and I am from Class Seven B. Today, I am going to show you my science experiment. That is. on water so for this experiment ingredients you need are a glass full of water match box and nail polish so first we need to add few drops of nail polish in water and then we have to light it up with the help of match sticks so as you can see the fire is burning now you all may be asking that why the fire burned so it was burning because nail polish contains an acetone which is inflammable and because of that only fire burns thank you hope you like my science experiment really good and thank you pragya for showing us this experiment and now i would like to call diksha krishna to come and show our experiment on bubbles in water i welcome you diksha Good morning, friend. My name is Diksha Krishna from Class Six A. Today, I am going to show the oil bubble experiment. So let's get started. We need water, salt, and oil. So first, we pour some oil into the water. Then we add some. salt into it now you can see what is happening why does it do so it is because when we add some salt into the water it sink and start dissolving in water and what about the oil oil start rising up in the form of bubbles so i hope you enjoy my oil bubble experiment thank you Wow! It was so informative and entertaining. Thank you, Diksha Krishna, for showing us this experiment. Now, last but not the least, I would like to call Sunali Yadav to show her experiment on lava lamp. I welcome you, Sunali. Hello, everyone. This is Sunali from Saint Teresa School in Class 60. Today, I am going to show you one experiment. So, 
So, what do you think I am going to make with these things? Not a recipe. I am going to show you lava lamp. So, let's begin. As you can see the ingredients over here. First, we will take one cup of oil. Then, we will pour one fourth cup of vinegar in it. Now, we will add two to three drops of food color, red and yellow. Now, we will mix it. Now we will add our last ingredient that is baking soda plus water. And now as you can see our lava lamp is ready. So why do you think it happens? It happens because the food coloring and the water has the same density. So when it mix, it mix through, it sinks through the oil and mixes with the water. When you add a tablet, it sinks to the bottom and then dissolves. When it dissolves, it makes gas, carbon dioxide. Gas or air is lighter than water. So it floats on the water at the top. So thank you. Hope you like my experiment. Wow, it was an amazing experiment, Sunali. Thank you for showing us this experiment. And now, I hope you all enjoyed our young scientists spreading the magic by their creative performances. Thank you. Let us now welcome the man who does not need any introduction and is known among us all for his wisdom and knowledge. Dear parents, teachers and students, welcome to all to the science exhibition of St. Teresa School. We are today holding our science exhibition virtually. It was not possible to conduct the exhibition physically in the school in the backdrop of COVID-19. In fact, COVID-19 has hit us physically as well as mentally. Death and despair seems to be dancing before us. And we cannot do anything against it. We have to live with it till any efficacious vaccine is invented. But nothing can deter us. Nothing can daunt us. Our teachers and students keep on working relentlessly to combat the COVID-19 deadly virus. Scores of parents keep on sending messages and pouring praises to me profusely for our teachers for their relentless and strenuous work. But dear parents, no fight can be won and done alone. The parents' contribution, the parents' support is must for being successful in any venture. And my unspeakable thanks to all the parents for their unstinted support to the school and the, to the teachers to come out successfully in this backdrop of deadly virus. My kudos to all the students also. Our students have been working very hard. They have been working with steely resolve. They have unconquerable willpower. They work with perseverance. Nothing can stop them. Nothing can clip their wings. Even the deadly coronavirus cannot stop them. It is their hard work that today they have broken the shell of coronavirus, COVID-19 and brought out virtual science exhibition. I am sure that the parents will be appreciative of it. Here I would like to mention the name of one of the students of class 6, Master Dhruv. Master Dhruv is famous for his yoga performances and he is holding ranks nationally as well as internationally. He captures headlines in the newspapers for his yoga performances. But in today's exhibition, this wonder boy has brought out another wonder. He has developed a device. He has developed a device which alerts the bearer of this device if somebody infringes the safe distance of two yards. It starts beeping and blinking. I think this is a device must watch 
by all the parents and the attendees of this exhibition. I am sure the efforts of our St. Asian students and all the teachers will definitely make you happy and glad. It will deliver a delight to you. I am sure about it. And with this, I declare open the science exhibition of 2020 of St. Teresa School. Thank you very much. I welcome you all in this exhibition.